everyone, it's Maria here from Pepley Rose Paper Crafting. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Sydney, Australia. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to do a fun abstract card, which is completely different for me altogether. Um, I'm into the simple modern things at the moment, so I thought it would be cool to use. Now get this, this is going to be very very different. I'm going to be using a couple of stamp sets. They're going to be Beautiful Friendship and To A Wild Rose. Each of these stamp sets has kind of like a circular looking image. So you have this image here and this image here. What I'm doing is I'm turning them over and basically I'm mounting them smooth side up. So you have the image facing on the block and the smooth side up. And what these will do is provide a nice smooth surface for one and also it will give me two abstract looking circles. Now the idea of these is to create, you can go either way with that, you can either go as a tree or as a flower. And so that's the kind of look I'm going for today. I'm using a black felt tip pen. You can use your stamp and write markers, whatever you've got. I've just got my black felt tip pen because my black marker has dried up. So that's what I'm using. Um, and you can draw freehand lines down. And I'm also going to be using the subtle 3D embossing folder. This is the big shot version. I bought this years ago. I'll be continuing to use it because it's the same but just different maker of the embossing folder. So this is a really, really quick card. So what I'm using today is Whisper White cardstock. This is half an A4, scored in half again. This is my favourite kind of um, card size because it makes it economic and you can get two cards out of one sheet of cardstock. So this is the thick Whisper White. So I'm just folding and burnishing that score line. And I'm using another sheet of white, Whisper White cardstock. And as you can see here, I've taken a quarter of an inch off each side. So when I put it in the middle, it has a nice even border around it. So that's a quarter of an inch off there and there. And that gives you a really nice border around that. So we'll start off with the panel piece here. I've got a piece of paper here just so when I stamp off the edge um, I don't stamp onto my desk. So the colours I'm using today are Night of Navy and Crushed Curry. Very very different but I hope you will all like it. So I'm just trying to decide which of these colours I will go for and I think I'll have the larger one as a crushed curry. So I'm going to have both of these um, ink pads open and navy, night of navy. So with the crushed curry, I'm going to stamp a little bit off the edge here, like that. Then I'm going to stamp the night of navy. And I hold it down for a few seconds to ensure that the color um, transfers onto that sheet and we'll go here again slightly lower than the previous one and I'll start moving this across that way and it doesn't have to be perfect because this is like an abstract idea I have going in my head and then you can go back over it again if you didn't get it right it really doesn't matter and then I will have a spot of crush curry just going here. That's it. Nice and simple and really, really easy. So I'm just going to close up my um, ink pads so that I don't dry out and I'm going to clean my stamp to ensure that I don't get ink all over myself which is what I tend to do. <laughs> I'm pretty pathetic that way. And then for this I'm going to bring this back actually and I'm just going to draw a freehand line all the way down. Doesn't have to be perfect and then there's no need to draw a line there. And so what I'm going to do after that is now you can use whatever sentiment you like. So you can use ones from here to be your friend, hello, um, you can put blessed, any of these sentiments are really cool and so are these. 
right? Or you can use any other um, stamp set you wish. It, it doesn't matter. It's, I'm going to leave mine blank because I can use this basically for any occasion. So what I'm going to do with this now is I'm going to emboss it with the Subtle 3D folder. I'm going to pop that in here. So this is an abstract kind of a card. So I'm going to bring my stump, Stampin' Cut and Emboss Machine, what a mouthful. <laughs> And I'm going to use platform one for this because I've got the older style embossing folder. And then I'm going to use uh, this one here. If you had the Stampin' Up style, you just do this with the number four. But because it's the Sizzix one, we're going to use the number three. And you'll do that too with your Big Shot as well. Like you'll have the platform and one cutting plate and so now we're going to pop this through the machine I'm going to fold this up because I won't need it anymore and I'll pop these away oh this is gorgeous I just love it so as you can see here, I embossed that so it gives a really nice cool texture. I just love this card and then I'm just going to pop it up here. I'm going to grab my glue so just bear with me for one moment and I'll bring that over. And I'm going to just glue it down. But I'm going to glue a little bit further into the card rather than right on the edge. This will just give that layer a little bit of a lift. So it looks like you've put it up on dimensional when you really haven't. And that saves. Now just get the glue going. Once I get all the dried up glue off. Okay. That should do it. Yeah, there we go. So just a little bit away from the edge. So you just have a nice, cool abstract. Choose whatever, you know, colours you wish. The sky is the limit. You can also make it go um, landscape, but I prefer mine to be portrait. And seriously, that is my finished card for today. How simple... And beautiful is this in my opinion <laughs> um, you feel free to to use your stamp sets in a way that are not exactly what they're meant to be um, and with photopolymer you can actually safely stamp on both sides so look through your shapes and see what you can do um, this really you can use even the larger stamps and make a cool like background here and then add a stamp there whatever um, so yeah don't only look at your stamps for the images that they are but also think of what you can use the back of your stamps and see what you can come up with it's the, really the sky's the limit plus these stamp sets traditionally are a beautiful set of stamps um, they're available in my online store at peopleyrosepapercrafting.stampinup.net as is the subtle 3d embossing folder this is a must in my opinion everyone should have one so i hope you like today's card and i'll bring up a nice close-up image of it incredibly simple imagine adding one of those looks like kind of ransom note sentiments or you can have a nice scripty font whatever you wish but I love this modern take um, on trees or flowers either or thanks guys for watching I hope you enjoyed today's video and um, I'll see you again next time bye for now mm -hmm.